I wasn't into the Olympic windsurfing right away. I was I was quite lucky because there was a youth competition um, taking place in Germany. Like it was a whole tour of youth competitions, and in in the end of the year, they had kind of the main prize for uh, like being given away by by a lottery in the end, and I won this prize. And this prize was a whole Olympic equipment. As, as a young kid, you, you only have one goal, is, and is making, this is making it to the Olympics. And uh, I tried to follow up on that, and luckily, I, yeah, I succeeded. I started competing in the men's fleet, in the, in, in the adults' fleet, uh, only in 2002, with my first European Championship and my first World Championship. And uh, I still finished uh, quite bad, around 30 to 40, 40th place. And, in the winter 2003-2004, uh, I saw myself beating people that I was uh, never close to before. And uh, then I had only one qualifying event, which was the World Championships in 2004 in, uh, in March or April, I think. Suddenly, I, I did a top 10 result, which was the, the qualification for the Games. Actually, I never thought until that point that Athens could be a real goal for me. I always dreamt of it, but... Um, I didn't think it was possible actually and uh, yeah suddenly suddenly I was going to the Olympics it was it was just insane <laughs> and like already just making the qualification was amazing it was like a dream come true and um, it was so emotional seeing my parents and all all the coaches that coached me from since I was uh, little being one of those few athletes that are really allowed to compete in the Olympic Games was uh, was undescribable Actually, I had quite a few hard years from 2007 until mid-2010 where nothing really worked out. I dropped out of the national team, had no support anymore. I told myself, no, that's not how you want it to end. I wanted, just wanted to make it better and I fought myself back. I was training hard by myself with no resources in the end, just trying to make it somehow and did it with a fourth place at the World Championships in 2010 and um, that's how I get, got back into it again. Yeah. For me I always wanted to put myself into a place to be to be able to fight about medals. That's what I succeeded to do for, for 2012. From the beginning until the end I was always moving between second and third, second and third and um, I messed it up in the last race. Couldn't handle my yeah, my, my head in the end. It gave me the power to get to, to this point where I was fighting about a medal, but it, I wasn't prepared yet for this one moment to really uh, ensure the medal in the end. And I'm still proud of, of my fourth place at the Olympics. I think I've grown a lot with this experience and I hope to be able to use this experience now in Rio as well. After London, I didn't want to stop my sports career, but I wanted to make sure that I was prepared for when I'm done with my sports career. Yeah, I decided to, to look for something uh, that had a good re reputation, a really good reputation, uh, and that enabled or could enable me to create a good network, to develop more knowledge uh, for what's needed after. I found AISCS, I applied, and uh, luckily I was taken. So towards the end of the program, I really started missing the sports as well. Yeah, I just decided to do it, to go for one more Olympic campaign. Competition in the end is just the moment you're living for. I mean, that's, that's the joy. And um, all the training in between is just, uh, is just a pure fight. Each day you go towards your limits or past your limits. For me, I realized that the path towards the Olympics is so much worth as well. And I think the most important for me is having no regrets in the end. I'm just looking forward to be able to live it one more time.